What's up, guys? Welcome back to the content corner. This is your boy Herb. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Lens. Now, uh, it'd be kind of cool, as appropriate for our topic today, if you could just like afterwards have it play that backwards because that'd be hilarious but no that's too much work uh <laughs> today today we're talking movies well a single movie and the single movie is the newest mind fuck brought to us by christopher nolan yeah today we're talking about tenant the blockbuster and the blockbuster now the first like two to four minutes is gonna we're gonna keep it spoiler free. That's all we can do, cause <laughs> talking about this movie, it's very hard to talk about it without spoiling. <laughs> yeah, the nature of the film, it's just I can't even describe to you what I liked about the movie without ruining certain aspects of it. Uh, without like spoiling anything, all I can say is it was interesting. Um, I can talk about, uh, I guess, the level of dialogue, um, which was well, based on the trailer. If you've seen, if people have seen the trailer, oh. which I'm guessing, if they're interested in this movie, they have. Yeah. Um, I will say that we can say. I can describe this movie without spoilers that there is timey wimey shit involved based on just the trailer alone. Yeah. I could say that. It's a battle I can say though. <laughs> like if you don't like timey wimey shit, then this is not a movie for you. Yeah, it's it it was fun. Like what I'll definitely say is that if it's your first, like, watch of the movie, commit. Because I feel like the first half of the movie isn't so great until you see the second half of the movie. In which case, then you'll really enjoy the first half of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, another way to say it is kind of like the first half of the movie... It feels kind of like just another action slash mystery movie. Nah, you're just confused, bro. Not even that. You're just confused. Like I, I, I heard, I, I heard y'all. You were just like, what? Huh? Y'all were just <laughs> I confused. wasn't like that. I wasn't like that. I was sitting sitting here in silence watching, and I'll be honest. In times like in movies like those, where like I need to focus. Because if I hear someone talking, I'm just like, I get tight. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to hear this dialogue because it's important <laughs> for me to understand this movie. That's I was fair. getting tight. <laughs> so, But I was just like, <sighs> you chose this path. You chose to watch it with people who you knew might ask questions. Like, <laughs> if I wanted silence, I should have watched it by myself. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Oh, man. But, like, how do I put it? The, at least to me, there. yes, was I confused about certain things in the first half? Yeah. But overall, I was still considered as a, like an action movie with a hint of like mystery, which is like underlying mystery to the whole thing. And I'm like, all right. And then that second half starts connecting all the dots. <laughs> I mean, all the dots. A lot of dots. Uh, up is black. Left is nine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I can taste the color nine by the end of the movie. Like it, it, it it's, it's wild. It's it's a very in depth movie where you're you can't you cannot be doing anything else while watching this movie. Like this has to be your focus. Yeah, <laughs> like one hundred percent. Because you're gonna miss something if you try to do something else. And then you're not going to get, like, the rest of the movie, and you're going to be tight. Because you're going to have to go back and try to find that part, which may end up you having to watch it again. And which, even then, honestly, you, might not, you might not catch it. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I would watch this movie again. Like Word. I already saw it twice. I'd watch it again. Yeah. I would watch it again. 
but yeah, like the casting was great. Um, what do you call it? The audio and music choices, I think, were great. Yeah, they, and they uh, got the guy uh, that did the soundtrack for Black Panther to do this one. And like something that was said, uh, that I I agree hundred percent. So, um, recently, as of this recording, the night well, as of this recording, this this is the day after the video game awards, the game awards, and Christopher Nolan was there, and he made a comment that because they asked him about Tenet as he was presenting the award, and he said he. I'm I'm paraphrasing because I don't have his exact words in front of me, but basically he said that to him, when it comes to like movies and stuff, he always wants to create a story which fully allows the viewer and the audience to just dive fully into the story and immerse themselves in this world. And which is why he felt like, you know, for and well, which is why he said he felt for it like game of the year. He feels like this is the case for like these games, like blah, blah, you know, so on and so forth. But this is definitely a world where I was just like sucked in. I was like fully into this movie. I could not take my eyes off the screen. <laughs> yeah, so. it was it was very immersive. It it was like even like down to like sound editing. The way that they chose, because you you know, like sometimes movies have bad sound editing, where they choose to kind of silence the world around to, to emphasize the dialogue. They're like, no, 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 we want you to feel like you're here, feel like you're you know surrounded by uh, whatever the scenery is. You know, you have to listen to the dialogue because the surroundings may be a little loud because that's what it would be like. Um, yeah, it's it was it was quite immersive. And like how do I put it? It was like I don't know. I I, I can't explain I can't explain it really much further without spoiling, I feel. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, I'll say this. If you like Christopher Nolan and or you like timey wimey shit, Check it out. Definitely check it out. Even if not, if you're just a fan of movies, I say check it out. You know, like, this is this was supposed to be, like, the summer blockbuster. But because of Rona, you know, like, things didn't go so hot. Um, I can't in- recommend it like that because I know, I personally know people who are the type of people that, like, if they don't understand what's going on immediately, That's their fault. they don't like the movie. That's their fault. Or they have short short attention spans and therefore like if, if there's too much dialogue they get bored and don't like the movie and i'm they, like they can't they can't handle like you know the they're they're, they're no offense but like your high your iq is not high enough it's fine <laughs> i mean like they're the else. kind of people who won't watch an anime unless it's dubbed because they say it's too much work to read subtitles that's you know back in the day you know you're lucky we have uh so uh, you, you were sorry you're, you're lucky that we got uh, dubbed, right? Like, back in the day, like, you guys, you wouldn't survive. You wouldn't survive the winner. Yo, back in the day, you wanted to watch an anime? You had to want it. I'm talking old school YouTube. Hey, episode 192 of Naruto, English sub by this part person, or one, or one of, of three. three. <laughs> <laughs> it was an eight minute parts. Then you finish part one of three, and then next on the play, on the playthrough is part three of three, and you're like, wait, where's two of three? So if so you didn't have for it. the attention span to remember what happened and then <laughs> look for two of three, it, it, it wasn't for you. It's you were you weren't <laughs> about that life. All right. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Should you just open it on another tab? Not back then. It really fucking it like. What do you mean tabs? It was annoying as shit. <laughs> what do you mean tabs? This is a time before tabs. Okay. If you can't this handle when... this, you're you're weak. Your bloodline is weak. You will not survive the winter. <laughs> Bro, and then you had to find the same person who uploaded all the parts, because if it was a different person, the because they cut it differently. Different. They could cut it yeah, differently. They cut it differently. And <laughs> cut differently, different subtitles. Not even, like, it could be the same language, but the subtitles be different. And I'm just it's like, I don't... It was stressful. You had to want it back in the day. <laughs> oh, so, man. So, yeah, like... But I digress. 
<laughs> uh, one thing I'll say, uh, like, review-wise, right? This movie didn't do, like, amazing. Um, no. It, I think it got, like, a 7 point something. Uh, it got a 7.7 7 on IMDb, uh, 71% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, and here's the thing. I kind of get it, right? Because while I did, I did really love this movie, it was a lot. It, it, it is a lot to like sit through and like understand, but like if you if you can appreciate what they're going for, and you kind of put the pieces together, like on my second um go through, right, or my second go around, I loved it. I would I definitely like rate it much higher than my first because I'm seeing things I didn't see before because I kind of know. Uh, how things work so i i appreciate what what i see now so uh, yeah it's also like i was gonna say added on to that like on your second go around also of like any movie if it's a movie that really requires a lot of your attention and focus you'll be focusing where they want you to focus whereas the second time around you'll like you'll be able to like pay attention to like outside of that focus like the background of what's going on and then you'll notice things that are like oh shit you know mm-hmm. so and i and it's definitely I, this is definitely one of those movies um i don't like how to put it this movie i love the world that has been set up for this movie like i literally love the setting and while it is a very self-contained story and that's it, I would actually love to see like more development of that world. <laughs> you know? I could I definitely think I see another movie within that world. Yeah. Like it doesn't, have to be, it doesn't have to be like a direct sequel, it doesn't have to be like the same characters. Just the world setting, I think is just cool. <laughs> so yeah. I'd want more of that. But I think that wraps up. Our, the, non, uh, the non-spoilers. The non-spoilers. Actually, wait, no, there's one more thing, Lens. There's one more thing that we got to say before we go into non-spoil into spoiler territory, and that is, what do you rate this movie? Um, I'll rate it uh, 8.5 out of 10. Okay. It, it was good. It was, like, a really good movie. I, I appreciate... The, the details and the way that they like approach storytelling here I do feel as if not that it could have been polished more per se but I do feel like this style of storytelling can be developed into like the perfect movie like you know you remember Inception and how that was a mindfuck yeah. And like the way they told the story there, this it's the same kind of feeling, except instead of you know uh, layers, right, and and like uh, recursion going on there, this is more timey wimey stuff. And and I feel like if if this was like a more I don't want to say a more common type of storytelling, I just feel like this could be like worked on more to make it like a. 10 out of 10, but I, I really did like it. It's great. <laughs> a 10 out of 10 it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I'll agree with the rating just because, like, I don't want to bore our audience with my true denomination. So, you I like sh- to round to the 100. No, sorry. Uh, thousands. Like the rest of the thousands, please. Fucking rating system. Listen, if you don't understand it, don't worry about it. You don't understand. Maybe, it. I understand it. But you know what? Maybe one day we'll have an episode where I just explain it to like the audience as to like what each. Try. <laughs> You're a liar. Listen, l- 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 psh, you don't want to do it. That's my problem. Like you. <laughs> 
you hate my rating system and therefore don't want to sit through like an hour long like discussion on how nobody it breaks wants down. To, nobody <laughs> wants to because it's it's bullshit. You're gonna make it up on the spot. It's fake. It's, you, it's fake news. <laughs> fake news, he says. Listen, listen. I have the nicest rating system. It's the nicest rating system. Everyone wants to use this rating system. Okay. Ugh. It comes with it comes with a nice brain Ugh. and two good eyes to see everything. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so on to so that's the end for the non spoiler people. Now, full on spoilers. You Bruh. have been warned. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Shit was wild. Shit was Yo. Wild. Inverse bullets. What? <laughs> Inverse bullets. Yeah. Don't get I hit shot one. it already. <laughs> like so I liked their I thought their their method of like time travel was super interesting in that like you traveling through time wasn't instant yeah it's not you get sent to a point in the past it's you're just mo you're moving backwards mm -hmm. you're literally moving backwards you can interact with the world around you and all of that it's just your entropy is reversed and what i find the craziest thing about that is there <laughs> so people not everyone's gonna know what entropy is and that's fine. Like, you know, not everyone right. takes physics so in high school. A, a quick but... de definition of entropy is um, entropy is the process of which everything goes through where order becomes disorder. So, for example, let's say you had a bucket, right, filled with uh, marbles, right? And you ordered the marbles like perfectly in like a, a, a circular pattern and you know all the way to the top it was like perfectly nice everything's like lined up like if it was clear you would like see just like a perfect cylinder of marbles obviously that's not going to stay that way because you know they're round and like time and bucket shifts slowly it becomes more disordered that's just a natural order of things, you know, things go from order to disorder, things disperse, things move. And that's essentially like on a very basic level what entropy is. And entropy also defines the eventual heat death of the universe. It does. Entropy essentially is a measurement, uh, well, is how we measure time. You know, because like regular time, like seconds, milliseconds, those are just man-made numbers, right? Those are just, we just came up with it. But and entropy is the universe's way of telling time. Yep. So as it's, as you're saying, as I say, so like with entropy, it's like it it, it throughout the movie they you know actually I would say quite well use like science and physics to describe what exactly is going on and it's not like i need a fucking degree in this shit to understand what's going on. no no they kind of mo it's more it's more of just like we're throwing around big words like to to make it sound smart however the words are connected and it is actual science that they're describing it's just i would say Instead of it's instead of being like 100 percent accurate and truthful, it's accurate, but more let's make it sound interesting as opposed to like exactly what it is, because otherwise we'll just end up boring people who don't really care. <laughs> yeah. So that being said, going backwards in time when they're describing like oh how oh uh, fl uh aerodynamics and friction is reversed <laughs> and i was just like sure, they, in my like, mind immediately they're like wind resistance is reversed i'm like oh, i hate this when you run you'll feel the wind at your back i'm like Ugh. <laughs> this is weird <laughs> and I'm just, this is weird i'm just sitting here and i'm like i'm just trying to picture that <laughs> you know like uh because so it's like oh when i run forward i'm gonna feel the wind pushing me like forward instead of trying to pull me back 
than like the, like the normal. And I'm like, but and then when I said like friction, I'm like, oh god, this is just, oh god, <laughs> it, it it just made my mind just go like places and like start sparking from just Word. imagining a world where everything's reversed just and like trying, to, trying to drive there cowboy shit <laughs> <laughs> like when that guy said cowboy shit i was like he's right though <laughs> <laughs> like you 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 try to like i'm gonna drive a car and in, in, in going backwards in time well that means that instead of that your engine instead of burning gas to convert to energy to push itself forward you're instead converting energy from the air being sucked through the tailpipe <laughs> and then converting that energy into liquid gasoline and i'm just like yeah oh god and you're Ugh. and and like it looks to you you look like you're driving forward but to everybody else you're driving backwards so you're just like what the fuck <laughs> it's just like i don't it, it but that was one of the coolest things um I, l I liked how so the the villain quote unquote the villain S S Sator 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 I don't I don't Sator I liked him because it's like <clears throat> when we found out his like reasoning right it wasn't like some kind of like crazy convoluted reasoning and I'm and I and like it was just like I'm a greedy son of a bitch. I'm dying. If I can't have life, no one can have life. Word. No, like that was. Uh, he, he agreed with the future. The future was like, hey, uh, the world's fucked up. So like, let's just like fuck everything. And he was just like, you right. <laughs> <laughs> like so, they were going. They believe the people from the future. We never technically actually see anybody from the future. No, because that's because the thing is like those people are like centuries away, like way, like deep into the future. Yeah, and like not only were they deep into the future, but like how do I put it? We don't even know how they truly communicated either. I will at least that we're fully aware of like all we can what i can guess that i think they slightly mentioned in mm -hmm. the movie was oh when he was like digging up that like warhead at like his quote unquote place of birth um that digging the up plutonium papers he found that the papers he found were sent from like the future so the future people placed it in that warhead in the past so when he opened it it was like oh this is like you, like this is from you from the future or blah 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 or some shit like that and yep. he's just like oh shit so but like it, it it was they ignore they claim that if you kill the past it will not affect the future which well it won't obliterate the future you're in it'll instead make like a they believed more in multiverse than grandfather theory when it came to time travel, right? But, well, mm, that's the thing. They didn't agree to anything, really, right? So I think that they believed in the grandfather theory, but uh, the fact that you can go through with the act, not that it wouldn't affect you, because it seemed like the past... The, sorry, the future wanted to destroy the past, right? They, they want, right. This is what they want to do. That's their intention. Because, like, the past fucked up the world. Humanity in the past fucked up the world, which exactly. made it difficult for them in the future. Cause, so cause they're if, just they, like, if they believed in the multiverse theory, right, or multi, uh, multiple timeline theory, they wouldn't have done anything because it's like, well, anything we do is, is not going to it's not gonna change anything for us. True. Right? True. Um, so... Technically, right? You can like it, it's it's still an open debate. The movie still kind of leaves it open, because, like uh, protagonist said, yes, uh, John David Washington's name in the movie is protagonist. That's the only time. That's the only thing they call him. Um, <laughs> uh, protagonist said, 
the like the fact that we're still here doesn't that mean we succeed that we win and robert pattinson's character by the way robert, Pat- robert pattinson killed it in this movie no facts facts like so this was actually the first movie i'd seen him in since like you know twilight <laughs> dude he's been like he's been killing it like people, like people keep talking shit, but he's been killing it. Like he, he's a good actor, man. I, I was gonna say, like, I didn't expect him to kill it like that. I was like, yo, this is, this is fire. It's good. Like I'm ready for him to be Batman. <laughs> yeah, um, like he, he had the acting chops. Like he has acting chops that I didn't know he had. And I'm, it's, it's a pleasant surprise. It's a hundred percent a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Yeah, so he's, for me at least, he's really good. Anyway, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Uh, right. So, protagonist asks, uh, Neil. That's the that's Robert Pattinson's name in the movie. Like, you know, doesn't this mean that we already won? And he said, Well, you know, it's, it's one way or another. Like, it could be like, yes, like hopefully, like the 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 the, the, the um, what's the word? The uh, optimist in me. Says, yeah, that's how it's working. But, you know, the pessimist says, you know, I mean, like, it's multiverse. We can't know, like, what affects what. And they kind of leave it open. So, like, they, at the end of the movie, you know, if you're here, you obviously watched it, you know, they succeed. So, does that mean that the grandfather paradox, you know, it doesn't work? You can't kill your grandfather because then you wouldn't have been there to do it. So, like, things like fate kind of transpired to prevent you to do it you know it's it's it leaves you with a lot to think about and i like that it does like and like i said i i appreciated that and because now i'm a fan of i am heavily a fan of good uh time travel movies like i am heavily a fan of good time travel movies um I always, I always think that uh, the, you know, Back to the Future series is one of the best ones when it comes to that. I love it. It's great. You know, the the way they do, um, time travel is like, it's a, it, it's a, it's a bit of like, I would say it's like a fusion of several theories when it comes to time travel. Mm. It's a fusion. Because they do grandfather true, but then they and like you know like oh not being able to change anything, but they also kind of do like oh because you did this, you're not necessarily going back to your future, you're going back to a different future. So they mostly follow like the whole one timeline thing, but I feel like there's hints of uh, others in there, well, which is it's not a bad thing. It makes it super interesting. Well, you know? the, the the whole question is. All right, well, when Marty's traveling back and forth, right, when he's going back to the future, is he going back to his future or is he going to a different, you know, timeline? Yeah. That, that, and, like, the, based on the dialogue alone and the way that the movie's presented, you would assume it's the linear his future but has now been altered due to the past changes in the past. Yeah. But the argument can also be made that, oh well, no, they when he can't goes know back, that. That's yeah, they, there's no way, there's no way of knowing that, and that's definitely in like a little unintentional like fun or debate you can have with the movie because I I guarantee in if you ask the writers, like this is they like, definitely no, have this one is thing. just how it goes. Yeah, but if you didn't. Like, me not having spoken to the writer or, or, like, knowing any interviews where, like, they were asked that, I think it'd go either way. <laughs> so, but, yeah, back to Tenet. Um, there's, a, like, the action scenes, which I still – so, with the action scenes, I still need need to find out if this is a thing. And I don't know if you found out. But, like, how with the scenes that involve both uh, people – regular people flowing, going forward in time and then the and people who are inverted – because the music changes, I want to know if the music in the inverted moments is just the forward in time music, but played in reverse. It's a good question. It's a good question. I, I would really like to uh, 
to know the answer. To know the answer, I, I'll, I'll watch it for a third time and see it, what it's like. Or it could have been. It could be that um, it's it's the same track playing forward, but each of the pieces are being played backwards. So, like, if you're looking at a music sheet, right, it looks the exact same, but each sound coming from the instrument is played backwards. Oh, like so each individual you, note so it, so it gives, Yeah, so it gives you the, the sense of whip, you know, instead of a, a regular sounding thing. Because it, did, it yeah, did sound different. It did. That's the thing. Like, but, and this is the thing, if, if that is the case, like, they did it that way, yo, kudos because i fucking loved it because even just the sound effects of like things happening that was all reversed just the the sound effects were actually reversed which i thought was really cool (laughs) it was it was so cool like when he like first stepped into an inverted well the world's not inverted he's inverted but it just seems inverted to him right when he stepped into that world like the the dust was returning to the pile of sand where it came from he like he was at like leaving like his footprint like he was retracting his foot from, from the puddle it was weird uh like the sounds of the tire screeches on the co- when he's like driving the car was like inverted i was like this is like hella in depth bro everything is yeah. just like this is wow even the uh the, like the birds just literally like the birds in the sky flying backwards that would always bug me <laughs> just birds flying backwards in the sky it's <laughs> like what are y'all doing <laughs> <laughs> just going beep 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 <laughs> also the the boat traveling backwards through the water like bugged me out yeah 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 that 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 also bugged me out. It's just like seeing water instead of being parted, getting pushed together. That oh my god. Oh, also they crashed a the plane. They yeah, crashed a plane in the movie, and IRL. They did. That was a practical effect. They actually Wait, what, got, really? They actually got a seven forty seven and crashed it. Yeah. <laughs> Wild bro. Yo, that's that's money. There's money that's, in this. That's movie. money. <laughs> That's the most expensive shot in the movie, probably. They had to buy an actual 747 and then crash it and into a building. Crash it. Ew. Crazy. That's ridiculous. I, bro, because I remember seeing that, and in my mind at the time, I was thinking, is that just a model? Or is that just really good, like, CG? CG? Nah. <laughs> nah. nah. It was real. neither. It was, was real. real. <laughs> One take. We gotta get it right. <laughs> <laughs> we only have enough money for one of these planes. We gotta make sure this take is perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. That's what, yo, Christopher Nolan. Bruh. <laughs> like, I've loved his movies for a while. So hearing, hearing that kind of shit, I'm like, yo. Yo. You know what? Just give him money. Just give him money. He'll make a bomb movie. <laughs> like he'll make a fire movie. I mean, he's been he's been killing it for like ever, <laughs> for like literally ever, man. Like what? Like Interstellar, the Dark Knight series. Uh, what else? Um, Dunkirk, uh, Inception. Inception. Like, and see, quick dude. thing about Dunkirk because I saw that movie. I I loved Dunkirk, right? But I could see how some people would not like it because it's about the people. It's not about the actual war. It's more about the people in the war. So if you're looking for like a, a war movie with like action in it, do not watch Dunkirk because that's not what it's about. Yes. There are tense moments, but it's not like you're going to be like full on like Black Hawk Down or some shit like that, you know? And... I actually I like that. I I like movies that tell like non fictional stories. Yeah. You know? It's like this shit happened. Cause wild shit happens in our world every day. <laughs> wild shit. But we don't hear about all of it. No, so like don't. when something comes to the forefront like that, something that I, I wasn't there for, but now I get like a, a story, I get a visual of what it like 
what it kind of looked like or some or maybe what it might have felt like to be there for that. It's great. It's great. Yeah. I fucking love it. It's fantastic. Um so also with Tenet, so as I mentioned before with the casting, bro, I loved every central character in like in this movie. Oh, I John, loved all their John David Washington's a beast. Coming from an acting dynasty, bro. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know that he was Denzel's son. <laughs> yeah, dude, like that—that's an acting dynasty. Bro, he have they been in a movie together? Him and his, him and Denzel. I don't know. Cause like, I feel like that'd be awesome to see them in a movie together. <laughs> that's a lot of power. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking power. So, but you know, it, oh man, there there was emotion in this movie, and it, I I felt it. I felt the tension. I felt like the anger, the frustration, the despair. Also, another thing that I also liked about the story is that um, it, for a timey wimey movie Mm -hmm. visually it was fairly grounded like all right so like people are going back in time and stuff right but the thing is it wasn't like i go back in time and now i just go forward from here no it was i am inverting my it's time travel since i'm like you said inverting my entropy so now i am going backwards through time slowly and it's like a setting like you have to turn the switch on and off so because of that, the machine, they never explain really explain how the machine works. It was just like a, a two revolving doors it, on opposite sides of the, the thing. room. It does the thing. Yeah. Oh, exactly. They didn't um, go too deep in. By the way, yes, they were in a movie together. Um, back in 1992, uh, Malcolm X. Well, I gotta go watch that movie now. I mean, he, it's not like John David Washington played like a central role. He just played a, a student. Oh damn! Nah, all right. I want them both in a central role. <laughs> um, but yeah. So the machine, like I said, it, it it does the thing, and that's it. Like you don't need to focus on how it works. And the only other futuristic piece of tech really in this movie is the algorithm. Yeah, that, that's it. But That's like, it. you never actually see the algorithm like do anything. No, like you know we what it see does. It <laughs> we know what it does, and we see it exist. But that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, and I think, I think that's super cool because everything else, while it gets wild with how things go are inverted and shit like that, they're um, uh, what do you call it? What things are how things are inverted? Fucking. It's not like everything they use is, is is like modern day, like cars, planes, boats, guns. You know, yeah, nothing wild. And I, it's kind of like a grounded uh, movie. I will say, to me, one of like the coolest scenes was when they're in the um, the airport like art vault, mm-hmm. and uh, protagonist. Is fighting that dude in the black outfit, who's in who is, is inverted. Who, who, who is who is protagonist? Yep, we find out later who's protagonist, and then there was two of them, and that was the wildest shit to me. Is that they said like, oh, there was two of him, so the uh, and one was inverted, one wasn't, and there was just, so I was like, all right, cool, that must have been the same person then. But then when we see the scene come back, we see him going through. Going through the fight, his forward being his past self's inverted, then he gets in the machine, comes out, so now his inverted self is on the other side fighting his other past self who's going forward, and his new forward self is fighting Neil, and I'm like, yo. It's, I was like, layers, so many layers. Oh my god! It and it was just like visually that fight was cool because like there were I can only imagine how many takes that had to be done, especially with how some of the moves like 
when we see the fight the first time, the dude who's inverted compared to protagonist is just it's weird the shit that happens because oh I'm a flip but I'm a in backwards it's, like, it's just like, like I'm gonna I'm like gonna... I already flipped so therefore you flip now I'm like what what is happening <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's cool it to see so cool. it's because like then you get to see it backwards and you're like yo this everything <laughs> from before makes sense and everything from, like now it's just it's just weird and cool and just I like it. It's it was just great. It was great. Yo, I, I what I thought was weird was like now I thought about this, like I have to think about this for a little bit, but it makes sense now, is when they say when you're inverted you need oxygen, right? Mm-hmm. Like inverted you need an oxygen, oxygen tank. Yeah, and it's weird, like inverted oxygen. But and the reason I say is neither is because like the the way I'm, they didn't explain it, but the way I kind I understood it in my mind at least is like okay, you're inverted now, right? Mm-hmm. Because you're inverted, normally when you breathe, you, you know your lungs take in oxygen and breathe out CO two. But because you're inverted, you end up like your body wants to do the opposite of what it's normally built to do, whereas your but your brain is still functioning normally, so your body's like I oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you would be breathing in what you would normally be breathing out. Yeah. So you would and... just be instantly choking on everything. Because you can't in- inhale the oxygen. Yep. It's, it- it's just so weird. Like, like instead, of, instead of taking in oxygen, your lungs are trying to expel the oxygen from your body. But you're like, but I need that! Dude, that's mine. <laughs> that's That's mine. <laughs> oh man! So like that. Also, that, the that fact was... that he like uh, he like experienced hypothermia from an explosion. Yo, that's another thing. The first ever case of hypothermia from a fu- from a fire explosion. I'm like, oh god, because of the way heat works normally, and now it's inverted. So it's fire instead of like emitting heat absorbs heat now. So I'm like, does that mean? Does that mean ice is hot? <laughs> is I mean, the icy hot? Yeah. You can't drink a cold drink because it would burn you. You need to drink <laughs> a hot drink. No, you need to you need to drink off. just room temperature. <laughs> 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 you can't go anyway. You just like I don't know what's happening, man. The mouth well, I, could, I could go. I could go for a nice cold beer. You're inverted, so here's a room hot. temperature beer. Nah, hot beer. <laughs> if it's like 40 <laughs> degrees like the perfect beer temperature is probably like 120 degrees oh, mm-hmm. oh god that'd be so nasty <laughs> but would it feel nasty because your body's inverted or would it feel probably. to you like a cold beer no, no you'd probably feel like like that, that's the thing the, the, the heat is the inverted part so you're feeling that Oh god, this movie has layers. <laughs> it just it leaves so much to me for me to want to like. Oh man, yo, and it's like oh. Also, the scene where like when they first showed protagonist the uh, the inverted bullets, and it's like how come it's not working? You have to have already dropped it. What? <laughs> this is fucking weird. This is oh fucking man, weird. it. Was- it, it 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 was it was crazy. Um, also, so oh man, it, it it was it wasn't like super emotional, but like the last scene with protagonist and Neil, where like protagonist noticed the like the little chain on Neil's backpack, and he remembers that was the guy who like came back to life in the inverted world and opened the gate for him. mm Hmm. So it's just like, oh did, man! Did you peep that it was Neil then in the first scene of the movie? Uh well, looking back, yes, because he had the same thing, if I remember right, the same yeah. little, yeah. It was him saving a, yeah. It, it was saving the protagonist. Mm-hmm. And like, what's crazy is that like, knowing that, that so I don't know if you remember how. Neil died in that scene when they were underground, but like he opens the he gets in front right of the gunshot, gets shot, 
and then opens the cage, right? Gets unshot. Unshot. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, he gets unshot. That's the thing. He was down and dead. And then yeah, he was down he, and got unshot. Right, 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 right. Unshot. So, but the thing is, if you remember it, like from how it looked, he it hit him in the face, and then he turns around to like open the gate. So that means when he went forward and when he was going inverted to go back in time, he opens the gate and turns around to the gun in his face, and then just. And then I'm like, mm. well, he doesn't. No, he. It forward, he locks the gate. Yes, you're right. Because that would just be inverted in the for them. It would open it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But like, so, it's weird because he would be seeing things backwards. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh man, that's. Whew. <laughs> And, like, it's a constant thing that he says that, like, you can't change what's happened. What's, what's happened, happened has happened, happened already. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. And then, like, oh, even if we go back and do things differently, what's happened's happened. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what got me, what I was so, like, what about at the end was when he tells Protect and Protagonist is like, oh, who's, who, who do you think recruited me? <laughs> it was you. But not now you, later you. <laughs> in, in the future. It's like, you've known me for years? I think this is the ending of a beautiful friendship. Like, <laughs> and he's like, see you in the beginning, my friend. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that's some that's some Doctor Who shit right there. That's some that is... Doctor Who shit right there. <laughs> and like, do you know he's going to meet Neil later? Like, protagonist, current protagonist is going to meet Neil later. And recruit him, and it's gonna weigh on him for that whole friendship. That at some point in the future, he's gonna have to send him it. to die. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Was, was wild. Um, so I said that's uh, some Doctor Who shit because, like, there's literally that type of relationship, um, in, in the show where, uh, this character, I think her name is River, knows. Like, the first time that the doctor sees her, right, she's like, I've known you for fucking ever. And he's like, I don't know who you are. What are you talking about? It's like, oh, okay, well, you'll see me again. for And again, and again, and again, and like a, a long time. Then you literally go through the show and you see all of their adventures together. But each time, it's a little sooner for one and a little later for the other. And then, like, when you reach the end, it's like... I've known you for so long, and it's like, well, this is the first time I'm meeting you. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn. Yep. When you meet someone at the be at the end of your friendship, it's just like, and you have to go through it to the be. Oh God, that's just painful. It hurts. Like at the beginning, is is for the first meeting is painful for somebody because it means that's the last time they're gonna see him. Yep. Yep. That that whole that whole fr relationship, that whole friendship, is full of pain. <laughs> yep. But oh man, it's just oh god, I love this movie. <laughs> it, it it was it was so good. Oh man, I wish I could have seen it in theaters if it wasn't for fucking COVID. Yeah, I would have loved to see it in IMAX. I would have paid for IMAX with this shit. I definitely would have paid for IMAX. I mean, IMAX was 100%. free for me. Uh, I'll, I was I A-list, Herbert. <laughs> I was A-list. <laughs> now you're just part of A-list. <laughs> just... uh, uh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I swear I have kids. They're gonna hate me with all these dad jokes and all these puns. They are. They're gonna be. They're gonna look at me as like, "What's wrong with this guy?" I'm like, "Oh man, you told me. What's wrong with your mom? She picked him." <laughs> <laughs> plot twist. My plot twist. My wife is gonna t tell worse puns than I do. Oh my so god. So even I'll be like, "Ugh, is that what you guys through." <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I think that's that's all I gotta say about the movie right now. Cause like, I, I we we'll just go forever talking about like just different things that happen and like our theories about like how like shit works. I'm still confused about like how like. What's his face got the algorithm, but whatever. I explained it to you, Ray. Do I need to bust out the whiteboard again? I'm just saying it doesn't. We don't see it happen, so therefore you could be wrong. Lens. So you could be wrong. <laughs> you could be wrong. Listen, listen. I'm gonna bust out the whiteboard again, just like just like we did <laughs> for index. I'm gonna bust out the whiteboard again. <laughs> just saying, man. Like. Uh -huh. It shouldn't. It should not. It shouldn't have went down that way. But he was new to the whole process, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, all right. All right. Fair. 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 <clears throat> On that note, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for. Hope you enjoyed our little, not little, our rant. It's a full-on rant <laughs> about Tenet. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, the underscore content corner for when we ever we go live on stream as well as whenever new episodes drop uh episodes of the podcast usually drop on wednesdays uh seven o'clock well no it's lens is streaming at seven now so it'll be six o'clock on facebook on the metropolis facebook page as well as the content corner facebook page and 5 15 p.m for, on our youtube channel the content corner so you can get a little earlier on YouTube. Uh, just remember to like and subscribe. You can contact us there on Twitter and Instagram as well as email, contentcornermail at gmail.com. If you want to ha hear us talk about something or if you want to see us play something on stream or like review or whatever or tell you why your favorite childhood anime is garbage, like, you know, we can do, we can do all that. Just send us a request right there. And, um... Yeah, please look forward to future streams and future episodes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, signing off for now. Deuces. <laughs>